G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo. Great to see you all again. Today we've been called into a job where the homeowner has replaced a roof that was existing. So before we got here, this roof was completely covered in rust and there were some bushes and trees that were sitting on top of it. The owner's cut all of those back and then has replaced the roof with this type of roofing, which is a corrugated iron. The big problem that we've got is it's been replaced with corrugated iron, but not on the pitch that we needed. The pitch means the slope of the roof. The slope of the roof for a corrugated iron roof needs to be around about seven degrees to a minimum of about five and then upwards from there. Depending on the size of the corrugations on the corrugated iron and the specifications of the manufacturer depends on how flat you can have that roof. There are certain roofs that we can have what we call a one degree pitch, but, or a two degree pitch, but they're a special type of roofing with no roof penetrations, such as screws or fixings that are, are visible. You can see here how flat this roof is. There's not much of a pitch on it at all, which means on a high wind, the rain will run up the roof, go underneath the flashings, and then come back down underneath the roof sheet or were still down all of the walls. So what's happening with this is that we had a massive downpour last week with a bit of wind behind it and it's actually pushed, because this is so flat, it's pushed the water up underneath and down, running along the, the bottom of these sheets and then dripped through the kitchen and through the bathroom area below us. The only way that we can fix that is to actually pull this roof off, re-pitch it so it falls down in the di proper direction at the right pitch and then re-flash it all properly. Always ensure that you get your roofs done by a licensed tradesperson and that they comply with the standard of that area. If you have any questions or queries about any of that, please flick it over to me and I'll answer it for you best I can wherever I can. Thanks for watching and like always, stay on Real Banana Peel and I'll see you in the soup.